Well, firefighters have been locked in a bitter battle with the city over San Jose over ballot measure V. Now, V would end binding arbitration for union negotiations. Today, firefighters say a city councilman stole their signs. Don Epp on the battle of words over the signs. This looks like it could be an embarrassing moment for San Jose City Council member Pierluigi Oliverio. In this video shot by a firefighter, a police officer stands by while Oliverio opens his car's trunk and pulls out campaign lawn signs. The yes on V signs are Oliverio's. The no on V signs belong to firefighters who claim Oliverio stole them. One from this shopping center driveway near a city road. Right here, right where those hole marks are, is right where he pulled it out. His car was parked right here with his trunk up, and that was chock full of signs too. No on V campaign consultant Tom Sago gives his version of what happened next. I pulled up my car right alongside of his. Uh, he was stuffing the sign uh, in the back of his trunk. I rolled my window down and said, hey, what are you doing? Uh, he saw me, we know each other, he jumped into his car and sped out of that parking lot. Sago says firefighters and volunteers drove to Oliverio's home and waited for him. When Oliverio arrived, Sago says, he saw the firefighters and took off. And he broke every speed law and every speed land record you could see zipping through the, the streets of Willow Glen. And Did you guys break into trying to catch him? Well, one car lost him because they didn't. Another car was able to keep up with him. And uh, he got out of his car and literally, literally closed the door, locked it, and ran away. But council member Oliverio tells a different story. Well, the municipal code 23.2.880 allows for the city or and or volunteers to remove any illegal signage in public right-of-ways, pro public property, etc. He says he was just doing his civic duty. Their signs are littered all over San Jose, in our traffic medians, alongside expressways, roads, even parks and they shouldn't be there. Oliverio has still another sign in his trunk for a congressional race, which he also claims was illegally placed. In San Jose, Don Knapp, CBS 5. Opponents of Measure V in San Jose are offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to the prosecution of people responsible for stealing or vandalizing their campaign signs. Yesterday, we showed you this video of a city councilman caught with opponent signs in his trunk. Councilman Pierluigi Oliverio, who supports the measure, said the signs were posted illegally. A lobbyist for the opposition disputes that. The proposition would change the arbitration process for police and firefighters who oppose the measure. You're watching ABC 7 News at 5. San Jose police and firefighters are offering a $10,000 reward to anyone who catches people illegally taking no on Measure V campaign signs. It's one of the most contentious campaigns San Jose has seen in quite some time. Now this comes after the no on V campaign posted this video on YouTube yesterday. It shows city council member Pierre Luigi Olivero handing over a no on V sign from the back of his car to police. He says the signs were illegally placed on public property and by by law, they can be taken down by him or any other volunteer on behalf of the city. Well, Council Member Oliverio was found in possession of only four signs yesterday. Hundreds of signs have gone missing in the last few weeks. It needs to be pointed out how many illegal signs are up by this campaign committee all over the city. I personally, as I said, saw over 27 illegal signs yesterday just in one small area. I saw three on my drive over here. The officers and firefighters are campaigning against Measure V while Oliverio supports the Yes on V campaign. If passed, Measure V would limit limit the raises police and firefighters can gain through contract arbitration. There is some finger pointing in the South Bay over political campaign signs. Two powerful unions are accusing a San Jose City Councilman of taking campaign signs and hauling them away. And they say they have the video to prove it. KTV's Diane Garazzi is in San Jose with a live report. Diane? Ken, here at the entrance to the Willow Glen Plaza Shopping Center is where the San Jose City Council member took the campaign sign campaigning against Measure V. If it passes, it would change the mandatory arbitration process for police and firefighters. You can still see the hole in the dirt where the sign used to be in the corner of the planter area where the driveway meets the sidewalk. A no on Measure V lobbyist happened to see it being removed as he was driving by. The location they stole the sign from, he sped away. Tom Sagow and a group of firefighters caught up with San Jose City Councilman Pierre Luigi Oliverio a couple of hours.
hours later in another Willow Glen parking lot. They recorded this encounter and posted it on YouTube. I'm on our property. I'm making a citizen's arrest right now. Responding officers had him open his trunk, revealing four no on B signs. Now, I only saw him take one sign. How many more does it take? Measure V, with a highly visible sign campaign, would limit arbitration for police and fire department employee disputes. The police and firefighters unions have raised $800,000 opposing it, and supporters have raised half that amount. Oliverio says he did nothing wrong by removing the no sign since it was illegally posted in a public place. Every resident under the municipal code can take down these signs and should, in my belief. Oliverio says the edge of a driveway is considered a public right-of-way, and the municipal code says the city or volunteers working on behalf of the city may remove signs posted there. But police and fire union officials today called the movie illegal and offered a $10,000 reward for information leading to prosecution of people who steal or vandalize no on Measure B property. While Councilmember Oliveria was found in possession of only four signs yesterday, hundreds of signs have gone missing in the last few weeks. City Councilmember Pete Constant, who supports Measure B, showed up at the news conference saying many no on B signs are posted illegally. What are you going to do to remove all these signs? I saw two just on my way here on Hamilton Avenue. And the no on V supporters arranged for Assemblyman Jim Bell to speak to the media at the spot where the sign was taken. Usually when you have these campaigns, you know, you're going to have some people take signs, but you don't usually have a city councilman driving around town stealing signs. Oliverio has not been arrested. Measure B opponents claim it would make it easier to lay off firefighters and police officers. Supporters say it would rein in the power of outside arbiters who negotiate pay and benefits that the city can't afford. Live in San Jose, Diane Garazzi, KTVU, Channel 2 News. A San Jose City Council member is accused of pulling up signs, some campaign signs around town. Pierre Luigi Oliverio is a Measure V supporter, and a video that surfaced on YouTube shows him taking no on V signs out of his car trunk and then handing them over to a police officer. Crown Force Reggie Kumar has reaction from both sides. Measure V would change the mandatory arbitration process for police and fire department employee disputes. Councilmember Pierre Luigi Oliverio supports V. He tells Cron Four it's not illegal in San Jose to remove campaign signs if they're on public property. Oliverio is accused of pulling a no on V sign from this spot near Kirtner Avenue and Almaden Road. A consultant from the no on V campaign says he saw the councilman remove the sign from private property. This video of Councilman Oliverio was taken by police and firefighter union members as they questioned him about allegedly stealing the no on V signs. Oliverio says he felt intimidated by the man and called the police department. When a lieutenant arrived, you can see Oliverio removed several campaign signs from the trunk of his car, including four no on V signs. City of San Jose Municipal Code 23.2-880 allows for the removal of signs on public property. So, you know, in this tough budget times, when we don't have enough people to respond to residents, you know, code enforcement only has so many resources. And, you know, having these signs on public property is not the right thing to do. So I took it upon myself to grab a few on in route to the opening of the Seven Trees Community Center. Firefighter and police union spoke to the media on Sunday accusing council member Oliverio of breaking the law. It's crystal clear that this was on private property. San Jose firefighters and police officers are offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to the prose prosecution of those responsible for stealing and vandalizing no on Measure V property. In San Jose, Reggie Kumar, Cron 4 News.